Cars traveling north of Valley Mills often slow down when they pass the Baum family farm, but it's not to get a closer look at crops or cattle. They rubberneck to see one of the several camels that call the place home. Doug Baum and his wife Trish, along with daughters Vanessa and Delaney and son Pecos, raise camels and operate the Texas Camel Corps. Doug and his family travel the state and nation presenting educational demonstrations to school children, fairs, living history events, conferences, and expositions. Baum, a self-proclaimed city boy, was first exposed to camels while working part-time in a zoo in Nashville. I was interested in working with elephants. I thought, well, that'd be fun, but that, that wasn't an option. We didn't have that opportunity. And when he brought the camels in, I thought, well, it'd be the next best thing. And uh, I fell in love with it immediately. It took only a short time before Baum was fascinated and back in Texas raising his own camels. Now he conducts programs across the state and offers a living, breathing testament to a short-lived time in the U.S. Army when camels were used for pack animals in desert territories. This is a quirky bit of Texana, and I get incredible pleasure from sharing that story because very few people know it. Surrounded by pastures of grazing cattle, these camels stick out in central Texas, yet they don't seem to mind as they have all the comforts of home and they get plenty of travel. Bomb's camels are more like pets than beasts of burden, and they've seen miles and miles of Texas since 1995. Each year, Bomb leads tour groups in Egypt. They see traditional tourist landmarks like the pyramids and the Great Sphinx, but he also offers his guests a more authentic view of Arabian and Egyptian culture. The camel is in some ways representative of the Middle Eastern culture, but only as the horse is to Texas. I know plenty of people in Houston or Dallas or Austin who don't own horses, perhaps have never even ridden a horse. And, and that same allegory is true if you go across the Middle East. His 12-year-old son Pecos rides shotgun on some of the excursions and is learning the trade quickly. He has a knack for showmanship. I've always wanted to run my own show and have like a zoo of crazy animals. <laughs> That's how camels say hello. Animal care is a big job for these 2,500 pound animals and he takes it seriously. It's actually ideal for the camels and me because if I don't, I'm gonna get yelled at and the camels can't live like a month without water but they can go a pretty long time. Like many Texas farms and ranch operations, the Texas Camel Corps is a genuine family affair. Bob not only shares his love of camel history and lore with his children but puts animal health highest on the priority list. You know, I think if you were standing here in a field talking to a, a traditional stockman, somebody with cattle or sheep or goats, I think they'd answer the, the question the same way. This is my livelihood. Uh, it is in my best interest to take the best care that I can of my animals. Like cattle ranchers last year, Baum struggled through the drought. But unlike cattle ranchers, he was unable to sell off stock, leaving him with no option but to buy high-priced hay. He's thankful this year is shaping up to be a better one, and he has plans to breed four of his females soon. As far as future plans to leave the camel business to his children, he said that decision is up to them. If the kids are smart, they'll run the other direction. You know, it's, it's their dream. If they, if they want to take this over, that's great. The animals will always be a part of the family. For TFB News, Nathan Smith, Valley Mills.